Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dave here from Black Anchor Outdoors and Kane here, how you going? Alright, we're back with a Kuderman knife. Uh, we got sent some Kudermans from uh, Mark from Knife Shop Australia up in Brisbane. So we're here today to test these knives out. We're going to kind of try a few different things. Uh, we're doing the smaller one today, so probably not batoning, but some feather sticking, cut and paracord, things you'd do on a normal kind of bushcraft weekend or a camp weekend. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm gonna uh, get into a bit of feather sticking with the uh, Kuderman MT5. Now this is more of a bushcraft style knife and you know, having those um, stainless bolsters as well, you know, re really kind of gives it that older look, that real kind of bushcraft look. It isn't a chopper, so we're not going to do any chopping with it. Um, we may do some batoning, just of some small kindling kind of stuff, but all right. So it's doing some nice curls here. And as with most of our tests, we are we can never find that softwood to that we would like to feather stick. So we need a knife that does feather stick hardwood. Because getting a nice piece of pine or something like that, we just can't do it unless we, we go into the hardware. Um, so it has to handle this feather sticking of the harder stuff and it's you should be able to see the curls there that's that's doing really well she has a few sweet spots which is really good and I think that's probably the that kind of real standard drop point um, style blade and the real real flat front I think that adds to that it's a real basic kind of edge to a knife but it's basic and it's been around for a long time for a reason. I'll find it does have a nice uh, sweet spot through here and then when you bring it back down to here you want a quick go cane. This is on the top and treat here. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else is filming YouTube channel uh, <laughs> in the distance I think. How good right. is axe can knock down some Australian forest? <clears throat> so Dave's let me have a hold of it for a little while. We're both a bit, a bit the same with these Kudermans. Me with the uh, the 155 and, and Dave with the 120 or the MT5 here. We've um we sort of uh, even though we do share them a bit, we've we've sort of latched onto our favourites. But it's such a nice knife. That jimping on the back there is just it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's um soft. It, it's just really nice. Lots and lots of control, but not um, not sharp at all, pushing into the finger. So, but yeah, it's just they're so sharp these knives too. Yeah. It's like a little scalpel, isn't it? It's just like a razor blade. It's um, it, it definitely does really, really, really nice. Even back here, just just those little curls we're getting off the side there, if you can see those. It's just, you know, normally I, I'm used to using the larger knives for the smaller tasks, and I'm always leaning right up forward and grabbing it right up here. On this knife here, funny enough, design <laughs> the handle the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, back here is just, just perfect, look at these. Just dragging that along there, you can see. 
just that. And that, as we've said before many times, this timber here is, is super hard. But um, yeah, just dragging it down through that, it's just, it's not even a straight stick or anything like that, but it's just, it's curling them up so fine. Definitely, look at that, just not, no effort on it at all. Such a nice knife for this sort of little fire task, you know, fire preps and look at that. It's just, yeah, rolling them up really, really nice. Just so nice to use, isn't it? In your hand, it's just, it, it feels like a little extension of your hand. It's a, it's a really nice. Yeah. Just cut out some edge there. What I might do is find another little stick here and um, make a little bit of a temp peg into that all right guys so uh gonna turn this into a temp peg so take a little bit of cross batoning but it shouldn't be too bad and let's see if the knife can actually do it easy and it dug into that like nothing else Now again with the size, it's a good good slicer too. It's just slicing through that. We pick the uh, curliest, crappiest we can, but that's a rowdy to do. Alright, so we've got a nice sharp angle on that. So I did leave the, um, the knot on there. So what I would do. on up to that uh, I don't know if you can hear that's really just slicing through that easy <coughs> all right so there's the uh, tempeg Alright guys, so we're back with the final thoughts on the uh, M25, uh, which is also called the 120M, uh, which M Mark Harder again. So, same thing as we've said with the Entre Sierras with the sheath. Um, we're both Kydex lovers, but in saying that, these sheaths are brilliant. They're so well made. Yeah, the versatility too of carrying it uh, regular, straight up and down, belt carry, or you can carry it cross draw as Dave's been wearing yep. it today. So I've been doing cross draw. Can't do scout carry with this unless you, unless you are left handed. <laughs> um, so that's good for lefties. It's kind of a, you know, a sheath that can be used by a couple of people. So sheath aside, <coughs> knife itself. Um, I think it's a pretty good all purpose little bushcraft knife. Feels really nice in the hand. I'll move up to this camera here. Really nice palm swell, which is, it's quite big for a, um, a knife of this size, which is good, it really fills the hand. Um, my carter is great quality. 
Steel's great quality. We'll put steel, um, all the retention, that yeah, kind of we'll thing. Yeah, we'll put up. a whole page of specs there rather than us rambling them off. It's easy. You can pause it and go through right on all the um, composition, the steels, the things like that. The edge retention on this thing is awesome. Yeah, isn't it? yeah it Dave's is. used this a lot more um, than I've been using my... Uh, 155 but the edge retention still i was just just then while waiting for the camera to load up we're just um shaving hairs yeah it just it still it pops them off doesn't it it's it's yep. and we, we've been given a pretty hard time in this hard timber and it's it's definitely very very sharp i i like that palm swirl you know we talk about yeah, that yeah. A, a lot you know with with the little bushcrafty knives you know sometimes <laughs> they're just I don't know, big hands, I don't find them that comfortable. This thing here is just a beast in your hand. It, it really feels good, but it doesn't take away from the ease of use. As I said, I'm, I'm so used to using those bigger knives for the little camp tasks lately. Um, most of the big knives have been testing, uh, most of the knives have been testing are a lot larger. So I'm, I'm right up on it, and then I, I go back and just hold it like it's designed to, and it's just just yeah, a pleasure to work with, isn't it? It just, that, that flat grind just... It's a slicing machine, isn't it? On that, it is. that timber and stuff. I'd love to. I might take it home and um, do a bit of cooking with it at home. I reckon yeah. getting in and slicing on it. Cause I've it's, done that. It's um, yeah, it, it's beautiful knife. And I actually did use it to uh, have a steak one did night. You? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you? It's, it's, it's. And the funny thing was, was which is great for a camp task as well because you would use it for you that. You're using it, aren't you? Cutting stuff. Um, just putting the knife on the stake and just literally just pulling it back and the weight of the knife just cut through like yeah. you know it's it's such a beautiful <clears throat> knife i'll show it off to my wife but <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's you know and i said it in our first impressions video on these knives and i will say it one more time today the finish is awesome we were having a laugh at how many times because i'm that impressed with it um and, and yeah even our, our friend trent good friend who uh fat boy blades just said for the finish on this knife to not be a custom knife and get this finish is something special and then when we told him the price yeah it's 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 hard to beat isn't it just how well that is finished i sorry dave but i love this a lot more than his essies um, <laughs> definitely i just yeah i love the feel of them they oh, are it's way so better nice. made than the essies they are so nice <clears throat> in hand fit and finish wise anyway. yeah and we did talk to mark i remember in our first in, in impressions video was saying has anybody got an idea of what that extra little hole is up there and he said this one here you can actually because it's got the flat back you can actually paracord it make it a make it a spear so you yep. can use that if you do need to um yeah maybe even put it on a branch knock down some fruit something like that but yeah that's what the extra little hole was there for it's got the one at the which back which is really good there. yeah great great little awesome little survival knife you know this is one of those knives that you're most probably more likely to carry all the time than you are a big chopper or something like that you're most probably more likely to carry this little knife it's small fits in the pack it's not that heavy so to be able to do that you saw dave go through even um through the timber even there. cross batoning which is yeah it's definitely not a knife <coughs> design that awesome that's right. that it can, um, and cross batoning I, I have been doing a little bit of it lately and i think that is more of a test than batoning because batoning you're going with the grain yeah and cross batoning being cross the grain yeah. that's and it just know. slices through it, doesn't it? That grind is just... It's, it's not rolled an edge. It's not no, done nothing like that. Nothing so. at all on that And that's edge. what we want. And that's, you know, I hate to harp on, but that, that is through the hardwood. So if it is going to roll an edge, yeah. cross batoning on wood, hardwood's where it's going to do it. And when I'm talking to, to Mark about them and the steel on this, he said, is just, yeah, we haven't touched these edges up at all since we've had them. We've had them for a while now um, and, and we have been using them. But we just haven't had to touch them up. They are that yeah. sharp still. That there's just there's no need to it. So um, yeah. I'll probably strop after today. But that you know, yeah. I mean, every knife I would strop. Yeah, it's not even. Yeah, look at that. It's just straight off. They're just. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know, but yeah, just no dramas whatsoever. So yeah, it, it, it's razor sharp still, which is awesome. That's it's a really good test uh, testament to these knives. These knives, if want to ask any more questions about them as well talk to mark up at um, knife shop australia he is actually the australian distributor for kuderman knives so um, definitely if you've got more questions or more you want to know more information about the actual particulars of the steel or different things like these do this one does come with the leather sheath and i believe this comes with the kydex version as well you can get a kydex so you can get a kydex um, version with this one as well <coughs> it's a very simple kydex um i actually spoke to mark because i'm launching my own business of kydex sheaths um and i had a guy from our first video 
want to get one of these so mark did did the sale and and got me in on it and i've i've now sheathed up for a guy for a, a chess man and rig so uh, i will put photos of that up as well yeah but um again same as the uh the 155 the finish on these little ones here they haven't you know they've put the little patches in there over the rivets the rivets retain awesome don't they they, they yeah. really do you can hear the red, that red stitching same as beautiful the, uh, beautiful the liners yep that matches really nice little combo um i don't think anybody who bought one of these knives would ever be disappointed with it there's nothing to no. be disappointed about with them is there no they're just everything about them we're happy uh, i'm not just saying that either like um, we'd tell you if there was anything we could find that we didn't like on this one yep. can't find anything so no that's right and and what i was talking about i don't know if we put this or the entre sierras uh video up first but the um the handle on this is very similar to the entre yep, sierras yep. on thickness this way and it's it's perfect for this this size yep. knife again you know yep. whereas if you were to go an se oh, i guess this would be closer to an se4 wouldn't it so the yeah. handle would be very similar size but um way more comfortable yeah yeah that's <laughs> right that's right yeah but just ergonomics again a lot simpler on this than the entre sierras yep but very simple yep. and perfect. Definitely. All right, guys. So we're going to finish it up there. Thanks for uh, watching our videos. Make sure you click like, share, and subscribe. And also a massive thank you to uh, Mark from Knife Shop Australia. Yep. Make sure you check out his website. Send him an email. Let him know you've seen it here. Um, he'd be very, very, even put a comment in the bottom of the video. He'd be very happy to know you guys are watching. And, um, yeah, liking what he does as well. He's got some top knives up there as well. So check out his website. Give him a like on Facebook. The other good thing, just one last quick thing, buying from mark you know and um we're not here just to push that we're here to find no. you guys good knives as well but buying through him i i waited about two days yeah i got the knife you know other knife shops in australia because we're not that american quick fast yep. postage and you know weeks, australia post it? has changed it can be can be up to three four weeks yep. two days i had yeah. this then Aussie, Aussie distributor, straight there, bang, they're down here, aren't they? Yeah, awesome. Alright, thanks guys, we'll see you later. See you later, thanks very much.